Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Hub Basics plugin. This plugin is a very simple plugin which is fantastic for servers that have um, lobby servers or hub servers within a network on Bungie Cord. And it provides loads of useful features such as anti void fall, a slash hub command, um, announcement systems, and loads of other awesome features that you can use on your server to enhance the hub experience. So, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we need to do is install the plugin onto the server. However, please make sure that it is compatible with your server version as at the time of this recording, it's not yet compatible with the latest version of Minecraft. However, the plugin is updated regularly. When you watch this video, it may well be updated to the latest version of Minecraft, but just make sure it's compatible with your server version by taking a look here next to the tested Minecraft versions and then check that your server version is listed. So once you've checked that, you can go ahead and download the plugin onto your computer. So we'll save this into our downloads directory and then go to your Minecraft server go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder and then upload the plugin. Choose files, select it, open, upload from computer and then restart the server to install it. So now that we've installed the plugin, once our server started back up, we can go ahead and join the server. So, I've now joined my server and we can take a look to see if the plugin is working. So the easiest way to do this is by typing slash plugins and then you can see that the Hub Basics plugin is green and you can see in game that there are some features that are already working such as this boss bar at the top and I had a custom join message. So some of these features I've actually gone ahead and enabled in the configuration file already just for the demonstration in game but we will go over these after this in game tutorial. So when you first set up the plugin you won't have this boss bar message at the top, you won't have this announcement that comes on and you won't be able to double jump and things like that. So let's go through and demonstrate some of the features of the plugin. So let's say this was my hub server and I wanted to set this as the hub area. So if I type class set hub, this would now set the lobby or hub location. So now if I use a walked away from here and then they type, they wanted to go back to the hub and they type slash hub, they'd be teleported back here. And then let's say they wanted to type slash lobby in, in case your server went off lobby instead of hub type slash lobby and it also sends them back to the same location so this is really handy and it's a lot better and seems a bit more professional than using slash spawn when you have a hub server so that's a really nice feature which is included with this plugin another good feature is the hat so if you type slash hat it tells you that you need to type slash hat and the id and it will put it on your head so if we type slash hat and then let's say um, id one and then we take a look at ourselves you can see here i'm now a piece of stone so you can change it to any ID in the game. So let's say we wanted it to be a bit of beef, um, 364, I believe that is. And it just looks a bit funny like that, doesn't it? But And you can change it back by just setting it to zero. So that's a really nice feature, which can be pretty interesting or funny in game and keep the, um, the hub experience a bit more active. So another awesome feature of this plugin is the holograms. So here on my hub area, I've just got some boring signs and you don't really want signs. You can use... Um, holograms to display it in a much nicer way. So let's say I wanted to replace these. So let's just delete these. And let's say I wanted to replace that sign with a nice hologram. So if we type slash holograms, you can see all the commands that are available with this. So you can create, reset, add lines, delete, and display a list of them. So let's go ahead and create one. So if I just type slash holograms, create, and then I type welcome to my server. And then you can see here that it's created it. So if we just walk back there, you can see it's there. So let's say I wanted to add another line to this. So let's type slash holograms, add line, then the ID of the hologram. So in this case, it's one. So you can see here in bold, it said the ID is one next to it. So holograms, add line one, as I'm editing the um, hologram with the ID one. And then let's, uh, let's say, um, make sure you have fun. And I wanted fun to be in a different color. So there you go, you can also use color codes as just as I've just explained. Um, and yeah, it's really, really nice and it's simple to use. So let's say now I didn't like that because it was in such a high position, it looks a bit silly. So let's type slash holograms, delete one, and then that'll remove it. So it's really that simple and then you can list them with holograms list and um, 
you can reset them as well if holograms reset but reset doesn't really make too much sense to use so i just delete them so that's a fantastic feature of the plugin also so another feature that this plugin has is warps so let's say over here i had let's just theoretically i had a pvp arena so let's type slash set warp pvp arena and then if i just go back over here and i wanted to warp to that location let's type slash warp pvp arena and it would take you to that location so it's really that simple to do and then you can also just display a list of them by typing slash warps and this will display all the warps that you have so this really eliminates um helps eliminate the need for another plugin which deals with warps such as essentials and it really helps keep the hub arena lightweight so you don't need much on it so that's basically all the commands that you can actually use with the plugin itself in game it doesn't really have many commands a lot of it's done on the configuration side so let's go into the configuration now on our server and take a look at what we can change there so i'm now on the control panel for my server so let's take a look at the configuration files for hub basics so if you go to the file manager then the plugins folder and then the hub basics folder and then here you can see there are three configuration files and we're going to take a very basic look over all three of them and um, let's start with config.yml so let's open this by clicking the name of it and then here you can see all the settings that are available um, for it and as you can see there are quite a few settings and um, so we are only going to go over it quickly to save time during the tutorial so the first setting that you should be concerned about is the bungee cord setting so if you're using um, a bungee cord network and you have a hub server and a faction server and survival server for example if you wanted the hub location to teleport people to um, the hub server and the hub location on that server you would enable bungee cord under this hub setting so this is where the hub is located with the hub command um, you can change this server setting here to the name of your hub server so if your hub server was called lobby you'd set this to lobby so now with this plugin installed on your other servers such as factions or survival when they type slash hub they would be taken to the lobby server and then to the location on that server which you set and then here you can change the location there as well um, and also if you don't have bungee cord enabled just leave this as um, false and then change that to none and it should just work fine as well so that's the first setting that we should take a look at after this there's the connection messages so when a player joins a server this is a custom message that could be displayed when they join um, so i've got this enabled you can also disable it so it just displays the default um, message and um, so when a player joins now they'll be given um, the, the message will come up in chat with plus the name of the player join the game so you could change this to whatever you wanted to so let's say i wanted to change this um, join the server today and then you could change the other messages as so and just make sure you've got the quotes around these messages as you can see here and um, otherwise it won't recognize it and it will cause problems so you can change this for join leave and when a player first joins a the server they'll receive this personal message um, so yeah you can change all those settings as well so the next setting is fixed weather so this would um, fix the weather to be clear um, and you can just enable that it's really nice to have if you don't want your hub server to have any rain on it or anything like that keep food you can set this to true so basically they don't lose um, any food or anything like that so they don't need to eat they'll just constantly have full um, food again for health the same situation they'll always have full health um, and they won't need to eat or anything to regenerate the food to regenerate health the next one is anti-void so what this is if you've got a spawn that people could jump off of and potentially die in the void this will simply just teleport them to the spawn point or the hub point when they um, jump off it rather than dying so that's a really nice feature as well the next feature is jump pads so as you saw in game i had a redstone block which when people walked over it, it launched them a certain distance so you could enable or disable this and you can change the material also that it is enabled on and you can also change the force and um, so say if i wanted this to 10 it would send you twice the distance that you would with five or say you wanted a shorter distance you could set it to two um, and so on and you can also set it to require a pressure plate to, to work or not um, but i've just got that set to false the next setting is double jump so when a player um, jumps they can also do a double jump as well and um, so you can also change different settings about this whether it's enabled or disabled here so say i didn't want this i could set it to false um, but i want it enabled so i'm going to set it to true um, and then you could change the force of it so 0 0.3 would send them um, a certain amount of distance up and 0 0.6 would be twice that one would be quite a large jump um, and i also can set off a sound so you could change that to a different sound as well and the next setting is quite nice it's an advanced MOTD so if I just enabled this you could set the MOTD messages that you wanted to be displayed and it could cycle through these so let's say I wanted um, giveaway today 
at six o'clock and then the next message to be um, join our server and have fun and then it's got the switch right below that so this I think it's seconds so every um, 20 seconds the MOTD will change um, when they're looking at it in the server list between each one of these and you can add more if you wanted to so if I wanted to add more add the quotations again for the message and then I could put um, and a um, my server is awesome so it'd cycle through that one as well and you could also just delete all these and just have one um, it's up to you so the next below that is the command override so if you have this enabled it will just replace um, certain messages with these after that it's the automated broadcast setting so this is really nice it gives you the ability to have broadcasts in game um, so you can have this enabled or disabled again and you can add messages and change them so let's say I didn't want these default ones um, let's say again I wanted to announce a giveaway giveaway today at 6 o'clock and then the next one was check out our website and then again I could add multiple others there's no limit to how many you can have add the quotations and added another one let's say and um, make sure you join our TeamSpeak server so again you could just set that up set the time in again to say how many seconds it takes for um, an announcement to be announced so every 60 seconds it will announce one of these messages and you can also set it to be in a random order so if you wanted it to be random rather than just um, going in a specific order which would be from top to bottom you could set this to true um, so yeah, that's a really nice message as well. So uh, boss bar messages again You can enable or disable this so say if I didn't want this you just set it to false again But I'm gonna leave that as true um, and this will display messages on the boss bar as I showed you in game at the very start of the um, In-game tutorial so you could just change this to whatever you wanted again um, and I'm not going to show you this because I've shown you how to add messages before but again It's the same same concept and timing again. It would display a different message every 15 seconds so the join teleport, um, this would, when a player joins a server, they would be teleported to the exact same location every time. So let's say when they join the hub server, you wanted them to spawn at the hub location. You would have to set this X, Y, Z and, and so on to the correct settings um, and location for the hub area so that when they join the server, they would always be put into the hub location rather than where they left, left the server. So after that, there's join items. So you can set items that are be given to people when they join the server. So this can work really well with a, a compass navigation plugin, um, but I'm not gonna go into in depth for this because it's pretty self-explanatory. You can add items, the amount of that they're given, the names, um, law, and whether they're droppable or not, and whether they give any commands when you click on them. So after that, there's graphical menus. So this, I believe, is like Chess Commands GUI. I haven't used this myself, um, but you could go ahead and investigate this for yourself in game. It's pretty self-explanatory again. Um, and you can just say, um, enable it by changing this from false to true. Um, so after that, you've got the warps listed at the bottom. Um, usually I wouldn't touch this as you can just um, enable this in game um, and you don't really need to manage it from a server level, but you could if you wanted to. So say I wanted to change the location of the PVP arena uh, manually, I could add the XYZ and so on. So once you've done making all these changes that you wanted to do, click save. And then we can take a look at the holograms.yml file. So if we just open that. So here you can see it lists all the holograms that you have in game. So I only have one, so it'll only display one here. So the ID one for the hologram, it tells you the location with the coordinates and it tells you the lines that are in them. So it tells you that the first line, which is class as zero, has the text, this is a tutorial video and it doesn't have another line. So it doesn't display another line, however, that's what it shows you so you can edit them here so if I wanted this to just say this is a YouTube video and then I saved the file and restarted the server it would apply those changes so you can do whatever you wish here you can even change the location so say if I wanted it to be displayed um, at a different level so let's say I wanted it to be two block two blocks down as y-axis is up and down and um, so rather than four blocks up I could have it displayed in a second block um, so there, so that's really simple. You can edit this however you wish. You can even add holograms in here if you wanted to. So you would just copy what you have here and then paste it below. Change the ID to two. You'd probably want to change the location as it, you wouldn't want them overlapping and it probably would cause problems. So let's say 387, which is about three, two or three blocks away from the other one um, and so on. So you could do that as you wish and then save the file. Um, and that, let's take a look at the messages.yml file also. So this file is really simple. It's basically self-explanatory. You're changing the messages that are displayed in game when certain things happen. So for example, if you don't have permission, you could change this to say, um, you don't 
have permission to do that and then that would be displayed when someone tries to type a command they don't have permission to um, and you could do that for the rest of these things and change the messages that are displayed so it's really simple just make all the changes that you want to make click save and then restart the server and then once you've restarted the server it will apply all the changes you've made to all three of these files so let's take a look at the permissions for the plugin so here I've just gone onto the Hub Basics um, Spigot page and then if you just scroll down to this permission section you can see here, here are the um, permissions which are available for the plugin as there aren't many commands, there aren't many permissions um, and they're really self-explanatory as you can see here. Um, so yeah, just refer to this when you set up your permissions for this plugin um, and yeah, that's about it. So now we've conf configured the plugin in-game um, on the configuration side and we've taken a look at the permissions and that's all you need to know so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to contact our support and feel free to suggest any further video tutorials you'd like to see in the in the comment section down below um, so yeah have a great day and goodbye